Okay, so suppose we have some median points. We have M1 equals 14.20, M2 equals 28.33, and M3 equals 42.40. If we had to find the equation of the median median line algebraically, the first thing we would have to do is find the equation of the temporary line. Now, the temporary line is the line that connects points M1 and M3. I'm just going to call this the temporary MM line, where MM is median median. So to find that equation, I need to, do, to use the slope formula because I'm going to need to substitute something in place of M for Y equals MX plus B. So my slope formula is Y2 minus Y1 over x2 minus x1. And since I'm using points m1 and m3 to find the equation of the median median line, I'm going to substitute in points 40 and 20 for y2 and y1 and points 42 and 14 for points x2 and x1. Now just to save a little bit of space on the paper, this reduces to 20 over 28 or 5 over 7. So now I have my slope. This slope is going to be the slope of not only my temporary line but also my median median line. And it's the slope that I'm going to substitute into there. Now I also, to find the equation of this line, need to pick a value of x and y. So I'm going to substitute in an x value of 14 and a y value of 20. This will allow me to then solve, remember 5 over 7, it'll allow me to then solve for my value of b, which is the only part that I'm missing in the equation of the temporary median median line. So this simplifies to 20 equals 10 plus b. And so we know now our y-intercept is equal to 10. Now I did rush through the algebra there, uh, but you can go back and verify that yourselves. So the equation of the temporary line and I'm just going to short form here to save some room is y equals 5 over 7 x plus 10. Now remember the temporary line is the thing that connects M1 and M3. So it's that straight line that connects those two things there. Now our other value of M2 does not necessarily lie on this line. So it could be above the line or it could be below the line. We'll just assume for now that it's above the line. And because you've already graphed this, you will know that it is an actual fact above this line. So what we need to find is we need to find a third of this distance. So this distance right here between the median median line, the temporary one, and the actual median median line, which would show up somewhere there. So our actual median median line will have the same slope but it will go through a point that's one-third of the way to M2. So we need to find a couple of things. First off, we need to find the total distance. Then we need to divide the total distance by 3. And that will give us this distance from here to here. And we also need to find where M2 would be if we just translated it all the way down to this point. So we'll call this temporary point T. And it's going to have the same x-coordinate as M2. So M2 had an x-coordinate of 28. So T is going to have an x-coordinate of 28. Now, M2 had an x-coordinate of 33. But we don't know what the y-coordinate of T is. So to find this, we're going to substitute x equals 28 into the equation of our temporary line. Now, I'm, I might have enough room here, so I'll try and do this on this page. 
So once we do that, when we put this x value in place of this x, we're going to be able to find the y coordinate. And that'll be the y coordinate that goes there. So we'll have y equals 5 over 7. I'm replacing the x with 28 plus 10. Now just doing this calculation quickly, I believe that I get a y value of 30. So this is the coordinate that would result from translating m2 all the way down to our temporary line. So our value of t has a coordinate of 28, 30. And that's the temporary line. We need to find the actual median median line. So we need a third of the distance between 30 and 33. Now that'll be easy to find. What we have to do to find that is we take our total distance, which is 33 minus 30. That's the difference in our y coordinates of our two points. And we'll divide that by three because we're looking for one third of the distance. So this is pretty easy to solve. It gives me a value of one. So that means the adjustment from here to here has to be one unit. So it means the coordinates of this point end up being equal to, we'll draw them off over here, 28 because all of them have the same x coordinate because they're on that same vertical line. And since the distance between 30 and 33 was three, one third of that distance is one, so it's one above 30, so it's gonna have a coordinate of 30 plus one, or 28 and 31. So now we need to find the equation of the line through Twenty-eight, thirty-one, with a slope of 5 over 7. That's because we're looking for the equation through this point right here with the same slope because remember these two lines are parallel. So we'll do this by replacing in y equals mx plus b all of our values. So we'll replace the m value with the slope. Remember that was the original slope that we found. We'll replace our x value with 28 and our y value with 31. Once we replace those things, we'll have 31 is equal to five over seven. Our x value is 28 plus b. We now only have one thing left to solve for and that's our value of b. So just some quick simplification here. Seven goes into 28 four times, times five is 20. And solving for B gives me a B value of 11. So the equation of the median median line and that's this line over here that connects through this point that we just found with the same slope is y equals 5 over 7 x plus 11. That's our original slope that we found and finally the y-intercept that we found at the end. And that's how you algebraically find the equation of a median median line.